I can't take the fact that we're sitting on someone else's land, all the Native Americans you killed till their descendants are just a bunch of mixed people. You know, from there might be some uh, full-blooded Native Americans. I don't know. Okay, I don't really know. But from what I see and what I've met is every time I see a Native American, they're mixed. You know why? Because you killed their people and took their land. And here I am sitting on the land that you stole, that you brought my people to, and, and, and I got to watch on TV and in the fucking news how the sacred land of God in Israel is being abused by a bunch of blood-fucking suckers. And at the same fucking oh, let's not forget my people in Haiti who are fucking dying every fucking day, every fucking year. No, no, no. Let's not forget that. But then I got to read about a bunch of bootlicking fucking terrorist scum who are killing my people in Africa, in Nigeria, and even worse, you fucking power structure devil motherfuckers have the nerve to say, oh, we don't know if we should label them terrorists or not. How about you label them DOA and do something about it? How about that? How about you stop funding terrorism and stop fucking playing this fucking covert op, fucking psych op game and start doing the right thing? How about that? How about you start creating the stage for motherfucking mass destabilization of regions? How about that? Because you knew that when you attacked Gaddafi, you knew where his guns were going to go. You knew the effects of taking Gaddafi out was not the liberation of the Libyan people, but the destabilization of the African continent, including my beloved Nigeria, where most of people, excuse me, the most populous country in Africa is. So you bootlickers sit there and expect me to take this whole whirlwind of fucking shit. That, that's what I don't get. God told me through scripture to turn the other cheek. He didn't say take a whole whirlwind full of shit. He didn't say nothing about that. 